Okay, here you can see how we've added our button from our last video series that we went through. We've got our links in. We've got everything that we want right here. That looks pretty good. So let's go down back to Dreamweaver and let's review some of our code things that we've done. We've come in and we've added in this menu button as you see right here. We've got Live View on as you can see here. And we've come in and we've added uh, you can see here the home, the link one, link two, link three, link four, and then you come down here and see the uh, the actual uh, unordered list items, the list items here, and then also the closing of those tags. And if you look over here to the right in the uh, CSS styles panel, you can see that we've added pure CSS for each thing that we have created. This is really good. This is what we're looking for. Now, if we come back and look at all these commands that we've added for the pure CSS, you just open up the code for the actual CSS external style sheet. And you can see here we've got our container, our banner, we've got our menu, and then we have our container menu, and then we've got all the individual little rules that we just created over here. Like once I click on the uh, container menu, it brings us back to that one particular section there. I click on the container menu item here, it brings us over here and shows that. This we can now manage even if we did not have Dreamweaver. We could just open up the style sheet, make the associated changes that we need to. Now, it's time to go ahead and look what our next steps are. Well, our next steps are, are to add more menu items across here. Now, let's go back and look at the web page that we were targeting to make this web page look like. So, I'll come back over here and open up this original web page that I showed you that we were going to try to build our menu system that it would look just about like that. It'd be similar but not exactly the same. So we've got to come back and add in About Me, our drawings section, illustrations, 3D modeling, animations, and our certifications and videos. I may change this one to be in action so we show both pictures and videos as well. So let's get started. Let's go back here to Dreamweaver and let's start laying out this menu system. Well, the first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to copy this information right here. And I'm going to copy it and paste it several times. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a couple of spaces to give myself some room to operate. I'm going to key in a comment. Now, as you can see, I came in here and I keyed in this About Me drop down menu item. Now, what I'm going to do to save time in this video is I'm going to go ahead and stop here and I'm going to add the other uh, menu drop down items that we need to add as far as the comments. So, these are going to be the sections where we come in and paste in this information above here and start making our changes. So, come back here in a few minutes and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, now you can see from the previous video where I came in and I added this comment about me drop down menu item. Well again to save time, I went back and I copied that and renamed it for each button pull down menu item that I'm going to add. Here you see drawings, illustrations, uh, 3D modeling, and so forth. All the way down here to where you see in action, which would be our last menu uh, drop down item you see here. Uh, the reason we do this is because we want to be able to manage our code over time. I also came back up here and I put the one above our first menu item, which would this, be this guy over here. Let me turn live view on here. I put a menu item over here. Uh, over time, if you well architect your website, you put a lot of time in thinking about how you're doing things, you'll come back and put comments like this because your website's going to last a really long time. So having code here so you know what you've done. Uh, when you come back and open up a file a year, maybe two years, or even three years later, it's going to help you a great deal. So now we've got all these sections added, these little comment sections added. Now let's start copying the code for the buttons. So I'm going to come up here to where it says UL. I'm going to come all the way down here to this section right there, and I'm going to copy it. Do a Control C. No, it's highlighted. Do a Control C. I'll drop down right here underneath this item, and I'll do a Control V. And so I'll add that in there. Now let's come down here to refresh and see what that did. Well, like, wow, look at this. Now we've got a second uh, menu pull down item you see here, but it's name home. Okay, that's true, it is name home. We'll, we'll go ahead and change that. I'm going to take this code right here. I'm going to copy that. 
I'm going to come right here where it says home and I'm going to paste that in there. I'll come back here to refresh and now you can see the change. Well, I misspelled that, so we'll go ahead and fix that. Refresh again and there you can see it. Now what I'm going to do now to save time on this video is I'm going to go back and copy this section of code right here and I'm going to place it I'm going to go out and this is where I'm going to select it to. I'm going to copy this section of code here and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to place it in each one of these and I'm going to rename each section to illustrations, 3D modeling and so forth. So when we come back to that, that will have been added. Okay, as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've added all of the menu items and all the menu drop down items as you can see here. Make sure you're set to live view. If you're not, hit it again and come back in and it'll refresh and you can see the menu items that you've added. If I scroll over here to the right using my scroll bar in my design view uh, window, you can see I've, all, I've gone all the way out here to uh, in action, certifications, and that. Well, let's take a look at it in the actual. Uh, Chrome browser, so we'll come up here and we'll preview in the browser and we'll go ahead and hit Chrome. Uh, and as you can see here, this is actually kind of exciting. I don't know about you, but for me it's kind of exciting. You can see all the items that we've added. It makes our website look very professional. You can see all the different drop downs that we now need to come back and customize. But it shows a lot of inactivity with our, with our actual menu system. Now let's review what's so important about this. Well, number one, it lets us plan for the future. It's given us a really good architecture that we can come back and modify as we need to. For example, over here, our next thing we're going to modify is the home menu pull down. We're going to come back here and add in just the uh, only drop down items that we need. We won't have all four of these here. And then over here on About Me, we may actually increase the number of items. Drawings, you probably have maybe two or three of those. Illustrations, the same. 3D modeling, maybe three or four animations we may have several for animations and hopefully the certifications will have a whole bunch of items that we can add over time well in action will probably be just videos and photographs so but as you can see the way this thing is architected we can easily come back and modify and improve our actual web uh, site that we're actually building over time we also have room out here to the right if we need to add another button that can further meet our needs. So let's go back here to Dreamweaver and we're going to come over here and we're going to go up to uh, the section known as Home. So we'll come all the way up here. Now what I did was I went back above and I added in this line of code, this comment line that says Home, so we know what we have here. But really, for this, the only thing I want to add maybe is a link out here that says contact. I may want to add a link to uh, Mr. Platt's site, so we'll key in Richard Platt. And these last items I may not want to put in there, or maybe I want to link to my school web page or whatever. So I can come in here and take these out as well. So I'll just go ahead and delete those. And then I'll come over here and hit refresh. And then as you can see, it comes up and you see these links here. Now, to make these even further uh, more involved, I'll come back at the end and I'll add in the hyperlinks uh, over these null values that you see here. But let's go ahead and get this section here done for yourself and we'll come back on the next video. Well, hopefully you've gone ahead and customized and added the things you needed to add for your drop-down menu for the home uh, menu button. Here I've added contact Richard Platt. Well, I've gone ahead and started working ahead of you and I started doing the one for About Me. Well, I like to showcase when I tell people about me, I want to tell people about that I'm an artist, a teacher, uh, my interests and stuff. I'm going to customize this one a little bit because I don't like the way this one's laid out. But uh, anyway, remember that this is a portfolio uh, project that we're doing, in a website portfolio. So you need to tell people about you and the different things that you've done. So let's go ahead and finish customizing the About Me. So I'll come back over here to About Me. And what I want to do is actually make a change here. I'm going to copy this. And before I do anything else, I'm going to rename this to Industry. It's been a lot of years out working in the industry, so I'm going to explain my industry experience. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to paste over link for my interests. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. 
Now I need to add one more menu item down here below interest and that's any kind of award that uh, I earned. So, and you also want to do the same. You want to talk about the awards and things that you've done so prospective employers will be able to see all the things that you have accomplished and the type of person that you really are. So I'm going to add this in here, awards. And then now I'll come back here and hit refresh. And as I do refresh, you can come down here and see that I've added this in as well. And again, just for review, these null items here, we see the hashtag or pound sign. We'll come back and later and we'll add in the actual link to the artist page, the teacher page, the industry page, and, all, and so forth. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and customize your About Me drop down menu and put in things like you know, your goals, your objectives, your awards, your interests, and those kinds of things. Now, I put these in here for me for what I want, but go back and add those for yourself as well. I've gone ahead and started working ahead of you on the next two menu items. If you come over here and see drawings, I went ahead and added that. Well, let me go ahead and turn Live View off and Live View back on. And that basically gives you a refresh. And here I've added the section called Orthos. Orthos are where we're actually doing manual drafting of orthographic and isometric projections. And then down here we added a section called Sketches. These are very important because it shows a prospective employer, the ability or college professor, that you have the ability to do manual drafting and drawing. Because a lot of people can't do these, but we're adding those in because we're learning that in our classes. Now I've gone ahead and started working ahead on Illustrator. Now I've got illustrations. I have a section here for digital illustration and I've added a piece here, a button here for Illustrator. I'm going to come back and add Photoshop and delete these two. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll come on down here to, uh, let's see where we are. There's a teacher and that's where we've gone in and deleted the ones below sketches. Here's Illustrator. Now let's highlight uh, this link here. We'll key in Photoshop. I'm going to be able to show our Photoshop projects and our Illustrator projects in our portfolio. So go ahead and delete these two buttons here. You don't need those. I'll just go ahead and hit one more delete. Kind of give us a little spacing here. I'll come over here and hit refresh. I'll come back over here to this and now you see Illustrator and Photoshop. Let's go see what that looks like in Chrome. Hit preview. Yes, we definitely want to save our file. So it comes out and opens up the web page and as you can see here, our menu system is customizing out really nicely. So this is, this is exciting. Now we'll go ahead and work on the next few videos on uh, 3D modeling and animations. Okay, as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've worked ahead of you and I've gone in and added all of my submenu pull down items. Like over here, for example, on uh, 3D modeling, I have SolidWorks and 3D Studio Max uh, down in animations as well. Well, to see this over here easier, or to see it much easier, we'll go ahead and turn off, turn on the design view here and turn off split view. And here you can see all the different menu items that I've added. Now remember, each one of these menu items will probably constitute a new web page. That's why we'll come back later and change the null value. Here you can see Illustrator and Photoshop, which we added in the last video. And now we added SolidWorks, 3D Studio Max. We may also here in the animations, we had it SolidWorks, 2D Studio Max, Flash, and others. The reason I put Flash in there is that Flash is a certification that we can go out and earn. It's a great certification to have and does some really neat animations, so we've added that as well. We'll come over here to, to the actual certifications area. For me, I've earned Photoshop, Dreamweaver, Flash, I have a Texas teaching certification, and Florida Tech Ed teaching certification. Now on the inact, and you'll probably have a lot more uh, certifications over time, and you want to be able to come back and add those to your menu structure. Okay, over here on in action, we'll have videos and photographs that we've done. And again, we have sections out here open, so if you want to expand our website, maybe it's products, maybe it's uh, some other thing that you want to come up with, like services or whatever, you have the room to do that. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this in uh, Google Chrome in our preview. I'll go ahead and hit that, and here it is. And we see everything that we've added. Notice how fast the menu system is. That was one of the benefits of doing it in pure CSS. Now, JavaScript is great, no question, but uh, we need to be able to edit and modify this, and plus doing it in pure CSS gives the ability for this menu system to work extremely fast. Okay, after we've done this, we're going to go ahead and stop for this video, and we're going to come back and start building the pages that all go under all these different items as you see here. Good job, guys. We'll come back to this soon.